at this point we're going to go back into Dreamweaver and we're going to start setting up those divs and um, instead of me printing out this layout uh, I'm going to keep referring back to it here um, since you know you can't see my printout um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make this overall div here and we'll give it a class name we'll call it wrap overall um, this is uh, my um, preferred naming convention for classes the uh, you know standard programming uh, lower upper to kind of separate um, start of a new word you could always use underscores if you wanted um, you, I mean honestly you can do it however you want but uh, just do it in a way that's going to be legible um, let's go ahead and give ourselves a couple of lines here and the next thing we're going to look at is going to be this header div And that can simply be called header. Um, and we'll just leave that as is for now. I'm going to go through the main elements first. Um, so the next one will be this uh, content um, div here. And, you know, let's not waste time typing here. We can just copy this and paste it below here change the class to say content and again paste this and this is going to be our bucket wrap so wrap buckets and we'll give ourselves a couple lines here and let's go ahead and we'll assume that we're going to be using divs for the bucket. So let's go ahead and paste. And we'll just say bucket. And we should be able to get away with just calling this class bucket um, and making four of these. So let's say copy and paste, paste, paste. Now, uh, let's do a little bit of tabbing here. Um, and how you tab is also up to you. Um, there are standards to it, but really, you know, just do it in a way that makes sense and, and makes your document look clean. Um, let's go ahead and bump this uh, wrap out. And then let's bump the elements inside the wrap. And then let's bump the elements that are inside of this bucket wrap. Let's give herself a line between the header and content. And let's go back and take a look at where we're at. Um, let's go ahead and make this um, div here for the nav. So in the header, give herself a line or two. And I'm going to still have that uh, little div block there copied so we'll paste that and we'll call this nav main uh, you can call it whatever you want that's uh, just the way I do it um, and let's go ahead and save at this point so we you know I'll lose our work um, we'll come back let's uh, let's assume that well, let's make this uh, wrap here for our links. That's what we'll call them. So in the content area, give yourself a couple of lines. And we'll say paste. And we'll call this 
crap links and save again and let's come over here to illustrator again and we're going to go ahead and start setting up these uh, links here in the main nav and what we're going to do is we're going to make an unordered list so we'll give ourselves some lines here and we'll make the ul tag Self line and let's go ahead and make a list item and we know these are going to be links so we might as well make a link and if you don't really know where these uh, pages are going to go at the moment and you want it to still appear as a link you can go ahead and just put a um, number or a pound sign in there and that just basically means stay on this page so it won't really do anything at all and we'll close that and let's go ahead and type in the link name so home and you know let's not waste any time here let's go ahead and copy this and we'll paste 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 and the next one in line was services and we have hosting and contact Next we're going to do is we're going to make an unordered list for these links here. And you know, let's go ahead and just copy this here and come down to our wrap links div. And we'll go ahead and paste that here. Um, now I don't remember offhand um, what was in those links there so let's go back to the Photoshop document and we're going to need to go to our layers panel and we'll turn our screenshot back on and we'll turn our website off um, yeah their links appear a little different than ours I just kind of made them up so let's do these we'll do um, web hosting cPanel, email hosting, let me fix this, and reseller, all right, and let's go, let's go to our buckets. You know what? Let's go ahead and remove these three. So we're going to do the similar method that we did here. When we um, designed one bucket, we did everything in there that we could and then duplicated them. You know, it saves time. So let's do that same concept again. Um, so in this bucket, we're going to have, um, let's just, we'll do a heading two. And that's going to be our kind of gradient area here. So basic plan. Um, now there is there is a likely chance that I might just use a graphic for this since we have, in fact, actually, um, you know what, we will be using a graphic for this because of the... Um, um, drop shadow and I believe there's even a kind of gradient overlay here um, so let's not do this um, we will actually keep this just for a reference but we're gonna remove this and put an image in there um, when we're done so let's go ahead and look um, We're going to go ahead and make this a list, unordered list. Um, there are not going to be links this time. So let's go ahead and just 
make a new list. And make a list item. And I'm not going to write all these out. Let's just go ahead and say feature one. And we'll just copy this four times. And then down here, let's go ahead and make a paragraph tag. And we're going to put our price in there. Uh, at some point, I might change this to a heading tag. I'm not sure yet. Um, and then let's go ahead and make a link. And we'll just do learn more. Um, ultimately, we'll probably replace this with an image. Um, but for now, that'll give us a good reference. Uh, let's go ahead and tab this out here, and yeah, this should be good. Um, normally, I wouldn't give all this space here, but I want to make it a little easier for you guys to read. Um, the next thing we're going to do is highlight this entire bucket and copy it. and paste one more time and let's go ahead and make a separation here between these and at this point let's go ahead and start doing some commenting Just make the comments fairly simple. We don't need to get too crazy with it. Um, three. And what I'm doing here is I'm holding down Control and dragging here. It's a nice uh, way to save some time. Just makes a copy of whatever chunk of text you have there. I'm going to go ahead and hide the design view for now. We're not really using it, so we'll switch over to just plain code view. 